Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival where in the last episode we built this, our mangrove mansion here in the new mangrove swamp biome where on the inside of this lovely structure holds three very special frogs and they will be given names eventually at some point in today's episode. I've got some really good suggestions from all of you. I just need to pick which ones are actually my favorites. But yeah, we got all three frog types swimming around in their own little house and they have been having a grand time. I'm a little bit worried they're gonna start climbing ladders and escaping, but so far so good, they just kind of hop from lily pad to lily pad and go for a swim every now and again. Of course, we're not just going to be building houses in this area here. We'll have some other bits of details and decorations around, maybe a couple of bridges, crossing over the river, going side to side. It all should be really cool and a fun project to work on for this episode. But before we get started on any of that, unfortunately, I have to do some resource gathering. I say unfortunately because one of the resources I have to gather is mangrove wood. And if you missed last episode, or if you've even just played in 1.19, mangrove wood is a pain in the butt <laughs> to gather, especially in large quantities. And I'm pretty much fresh out of mangrove wood from building this house in the last episode. I have maybe half a stack of logs, which definitely is not going to be enough. Because all of the houses that we're making in our little village today, I think I'm going to keep it nice and simple. Just stick to mud bricks and mangrove wood. Maybe a couple of other blocks if needed, but... I don't want to go too detailed with these because, well, we're going to be building quite a lot of them. I've got plenty of mud bricks left over from last episode, so mud is not a problem. Mangrove wood, as we've discussed, kind of is. So I'm going to start gathering all of that. It should take me a nice long time, but for you guys, no more than 10 seconds or so. Well, that was a mess and has left a lovely scar here in the mangrove swamp. Thankfully, I've done this pretty far away from where we're actually set up, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Something that is kind of cool, though, you can kind of see the mangrove swamp sort of leaks out into the other biomes here, kind of stretching out in this point. And I've actually found something like this elsewhere in the biome, except like 20 times the size of it. It's really cool. Let me go show you. So this is it. As you can see, we're leading off into other biomes, but we're staying in a straight line of mangrove, and it continues to go this way, past the desert temple, even more so this way. And by the way, super thin. <laughs> All the way over here, we're, we're still going, we're still going. There's also this cool archway, which is kind of awesome. And we're, we're still going at this point. I think the end is right here. So yeah, that's kind of amazing. I mean, just take a look at it from a bird's eye view. How awesome is that? I can't help it. I need to go in here and just see if there's anything good. Oh, this is a bad idea. I'm okay. Just about a little bit of a pincushion, but I'll survive. Yeah, there's nothing in these chests that I need. <laughs> I can't really say I'm surprised. Anyway, I've got plenty of mangrove wood now. I may need a little bit more, but hopefully nothing too much. I'm going to head back home, get the rest of my mud brick, maybe a few other supplies. And then, well, first of all, I've actually got to find where on earth we're set up. <laughs> this mangrove biome is humongous. But yeah, I'm going to go back home, get some supplies, and then we can get started on our little village. Supplies have been gathered and we're back here in the mangrove swamp biome and I've actually put together a little bit of a mock-up for what I want these houses to look like and here it is. Pretty small, pretty simple as I said and that's great because it means I can build a lot of them. So obviously they're all going to vary in shape and size but this is the general theme I'm going for. Mud brick and mangrove. As you can see, it kind of looks like it's falling apart a little bit, which is great. The roof isn't symmetrical. We've got all sorts of blocks with the slab stairs and trap doors going on there. I might even add in some different blocks here, like some slabs and stairs and probably like the regular, where's my shocker box? The regular packed mud here, just to add in a little bit of texture to this. So that's pretty much what I'm going for. Just some very rundown and dilapidated houses. 
As for the interior, I honestly don't know if I'm gonna bother. It doesn't really feel like it's necessary and it's gonna take me that much longer to actually do the interiors of these houses and considering I'll pretty much never go inside them and even if I did do them it would it would just be a bed, basically. <laughs> it just seems unnecessary. So maybe if I got some time left over at the end of the episode, I can quickly whiz around and finish them up. But yeah, I'm, I'm just letting you know from the get-go that it's okay if we don't do the interiors. It's, it's not needed. <laughs> At least not this time. Usually I'm all for interiors. I do think it really helps to make your build feel a lot more immersive, especially if you got lots of them, like if I was making a bigger village with bigger houses. Yeah, I, I probably would do them. I always have in the past, but this time, yeah, I, th I think it's okay if we skip that part. So the next step is to build some more houses. But before we actually build them, I think I would just like to pick out some spots for them. So I'm going to go around with some mon uh, mongrove, <laughs> mud bricks, and just kind of place a block where I want to build a house. 11 blocks later, and we have picked out all of the spots. So we got two over here. There's another one up there. We got a few along this side. We've got quite a few on this section, up the top and down at the bottom. This one round the back there and then we got a couple closer to the actual mansion itself and of course we can always add more but I think 12 houses is a good starting point so now we can get started on building our riverside village one house at a time Alright, we have all of the houses built along the riverbed here, all 12 of them, and that's really just the main structure of them. We don't have anything else around, but as I said, we're going to add in all of the, the details and other little bits and bobs very shortly. I have crafted myself a little chest boat here so we can take a, a boat around instead of a swim around, give a bit of a easier tour but yeah these houses vary all over the place I really really love them actually I wasn't sure how it was gonna look um, when I first started but yeah it, it certainly certainly suits this biome really really cool I gotta say this river was once filled with lily pads but I have smashed through like 90% of them in my chest boat here <laughs> they got in the way and they suffered for it but we're now ready to move on to the next step of building our custom village here, which I think is going to be some bridges leading from one side to the other. And here's where I'm debating on branching out as far as our block palette is concerned. Do I want to just stick to mangrove and mud bricks? Or do I want to add in something like spruce or regular bricks or some of the other blocks we've used in the mansion up here? I'm not sure is the answer. I think I'm going to have a play around in creative, see what blocks go best with the surrounding area in, in a creative world, by the way. Not not this one. <laughs> I'm not just going to hop into creative mode and play around. No, no. I go into a separate world to do that. But yeah, I'm going to have a, have a think and I'll catch you guys back up when I've got some work done around here. So I went with spruce as the extra block being used. I know, very original of me. <laughs> well, it's not my fault spruce goes with literally everything in the game. I just can't help but use it sometimes. When I say sometimes, I mean all the time. I use it on virtually every single build I do. But it's okay because, like I said, it goes with everything. And uh, yeah, here is bridge one of two. Going from this side all the way over to the other side, kind of connecting these two houses specifically together. And you may also be able to tell this bridge has some really, really long pillars <laughs> going all the way down to the riverbed here. We're pretty much in a cave, I think, at this point. But it was either have some really long pillars or terraform a whole new bed of the river, which, let's be honest, that wasn't going to happen. I've also added in a way to get up to the top levels of the swamp biome just with some makeshift staircases as you can see here just this random jumbled mess of slabs and stairs that will lead you up to the top it does the job doesn't look pretty but uh <laughs> that's kind of the idea of this village and then on this side I thought I'd do something a bit different and actually add in a ladder it was a bit of a steeper section so we just got the trapdoors with the ladders on top 
I feel so bad for you peeps who play Bedrock because you can't do this, it's only a Java feature and I forget that a lot and it makes me sad for you because this is really cool. Continuing on this way we have the second bridge, I don't like this one quite as much, you can see it's on a bit of a diagonal so I couldn't really use the fence gates so instead I've gone with trap doors which don't really look super amazing but I think I'm okay with it, I don't know, let me know what you think of this bridge and we can always change it up somehow if everybody collectively hates it. <laughs> but yeah it's, it's sort of the same thing pretty much, it's just got a bit of a bend in the middle here and we've got the same thing over on this side, ladder leading up on the steeper section and over that side there we go we came down it we have our staircase. Now I know what you're probably thinking, how am I gonna fit under these bridges in my boat? Surely I'm gonna hit my head. Well, no, I'm not actually. In case you didn't know, you can now duck in Minecraft. A little bit like crouching, but ducking in a boat. So, you ready for this? Going through, gonna hit my head. Nope, I just duck out the way. <laughs> oh, how cool is that? That's amazing. I don't think this is actually a thing, by the way. I'm completely making that up. I, I think it's because we're going under a trap door, and it's kind of like when you go into fly mode when you shut a trap door on yourself, but in a boat. But it just looks like I'm ducking under the bridge, and it's absolutely perfect. I love it. I was originally going to redo the bridge design to make it a bit taller, but then I tried this out, and I just thought... I, I don't need to anymore. My character can just duck under the bridge and he won't hit his head. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. If I do go through the stairs though, uh, you can see I don't actually duck. It's only under the trap door. So yeah, I'm assuming there's something funky going on with trap doors there, but still, I just thought that was so much fun. And of course, the same happens with this one over here because those are all trap door blocks in the middle. So if we just line up, we duck <laughs> and go on out the other side without a single scratch on my little noggin. Well, with our bridges in position and our newfound ability to duck under them, we are ready to move on to the next step, which is basically going around and adding in all of the little bits of detail. So I'm thinking we're doing sort of stuff like uh, a few areas of storage, something for a little bit of a food source maybe, a couple of these houses could have some farms attached to them, that sort of thing. Just a few bits and bobs here and there to make this place feel a lot more homely. Just making the final addition, which is some spore blossom, so we're able to get those lovely particles glimmering and flowing through this area, which is really going to bring it all together, I think. So, as you can see, I've added quite a lot of stuff around here. Nothing too massive, it's just the details, as I said. So, let me try and give you a very quick tour. Past this frog, we have another staircase leading up to a very small crop farm. A small docking station for my chest boat outside the mansion. A couple of campfire spots to sit and chill at over here and over there. I've added some stacks of storage next to some of the houses, like over in this spot and there for example. Also another couple of staircases leading to and from a few of the houses. And everything else is much much smaller, like these tiki torches here, torch on top of a fence post, just so we can get some light around here. And with all of that, we are now done with the village, as far as everything I was planning to do. There is, however, one aspect which I have had a bit of a change of heart on. And that is, as you may have guessed, the interiors of all of these houses. I mentioned how it wasn't really necessary to do them, and I still partially stand by that. I'm not going to make some fully fledged interiors that look, you know, super detailed and really advanced building or anything like that. <laughs> but I don't like how you can see through the windows and you can just tell that it's a facade. Not really a big fan. So all I'm going to do, let's take this one as an example. I'm just going to hollow it out a little bit more and and kind of build up the walls, add a floor, add a ceiling, and maybe like a bed and a table. Something really, really simple like that. We do have 12 houses around here, so I don't want to go too extreme. So once again, I'm going to gather up some more supplies and get to building. And then, once we've done all of our interiors, we will be officially done with our mangrove swamp village here. With the exception of any ideas that you guys have that we could add to this village that you let me know in the comments, but uh, obviously I haven't seen that yet. 
I'm not from the future. So if you do have any ideas, please let me know and we can always come back next episode and add some more stuff. So this is what I had in mind. Very muddy, right? <laughs> That's kind of intentional because this one in particular, it's just dug into the side of the hill. So I'm imagining the people living inside of here kind of would have dug the hole and then just made the mud look nice, right? That That's the supplies they have. They're very limited on their options. They got mud and mangrove around. And I know you may think, well, just use the wood. But I, I like this idea of just using purely mud. I would never do this for an interior. Have the walls, the floor, and the ceiling be the same blocks. But I actually think it kind of makes sense here. Of course, we're going to need some decorations, nothing too extravagant. But maybe a bed or possibly even just some, like tables with carpet on or uh something maybe a bit like this and then get some carpet on top of that and say that's a bed seems a bit more primitive that way um yeah just somewhere to sleep and somewhere to sit maybe something very very simple I've got it. Instead of wall carpets, how about we use moss carpet? That can be found here in the mangrove swamp, and it just looks really soft, doesn't it? I think it would be perfect bed material. I mean, just listen to the noise when you place it down. Sounds very soft, right? <laughs> I think you could rest your weary head on that easily at the end of a long day here in the swamp. So this is what I had in mind, minus the bed. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> so mud everywhere. We've got our moss bed here, a little table with some plant pots or another torch or something like that on. Super simple stuff, just keeping it nice and easy. That way we can replicate this 11 more times and it shouldn't take too long. And then when you're kind of looking through the windows, if you get up close, it does actually look like something's going on inside, which in my opinion, uh, opinion is much better than just seeing that. I may have talked about this before, so stop me if I have, even though you literally can't stop me talking right now, unless you mute me. Please don't do that. <laughs> I know I've tweeted about it, but basically something I would love to see added into Minecraft is a bedroll. Something a little bit like this, kind of. Basically, something that worked the same as a normal bed here, except it didn't set your spawn point every single time you placed it down. So I always bring a bed with me, that way I can skip through the night, but I always break my bed after I sleep in it. So then if I were to die or go through the end and go back to my spawn point, I most likely wouldn't have one. Because chances are I haven't slept in my bed at home, I've instead just plonked this bed down, set my spawn point like that, <laughs> and then broken it after when I wake up. I think it would be amazing if you could have something like a bedroll that looked a little bit like the moss carpet, right? That sort of thinness that you could just roll out and sleep the night away, but it wouldn't mess up your spawn point. You could still keep that back its home base. I just think that would be really, really helpful. Plus, it would give us a cool block to use for this exact situation, so I didn't have to use moss, but <laughs> it's okay, because as I've said, I actually quite like that. Anyway, enough ramblings, I'm going to get started on the rest of the houses. I have now finished all of the 12 houses inside and out, and it doesn't really change that much when you're kind of just going along the river here, unless you were to zoom into some of the windows, and even then... It doesn't look that much different, but as I said, it's more so when you're actually walking up close to them, taking a look inside through the very small windows that we do have, just so you can actually, you know, see that something is in fact going on inside of them all, which I really like. It definitely feels as though it just kind of completes the village here. Whilst building everything we've made in today's episode, I have been doing something on the sly. Something I haven't told you guys about, and you may actually be able to hear it if you listen closely. Do you hear those croaks and ribbits? Well, it's actually not the frogs on the inside here, which we do need to give a name to actually. I completely forgot about that. We'll do that right after this, but I need to show you what I have been creating, and that is... A little bit of a frog army. <laughs> it's still in the process of hatching some, some tadpoles here. But as I think I mentioned in the last episode, I wanted to really make this mangrove full of life. Which mainly revolves around just getting as many frogs as possible. So I've been trying to breed the ones that I see already out here in the wild. But there's not too many of them. Until now, that is, because, yeah, I'm going to set these wonderful frogs loose out into the mangrove swamp and let them roam free. But first of all, I'm going to go to bed. 
Okay, morning is upon us. Is everybody ready for the chaos that is about to ensue? Frogs, come on. <laughs> it's moving day. Everybody better get going. Let me break the trap doors. That was awfully underwhelming from you all. Let me let me help you out a little bit more here. Oh, don't go in there. No, 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 no. We need you outside. That's it. Okay. Well, um... Yeah, this is going great. <laughs> Hopefully they don't go too far afield and they stay kind of local. In fact, what I'm actually going to do as they're emerging here is just breed them up. <laughs> and that way they can go and lay more, uh, whatever these are called, tadpole eggs. I've completely forgotten. They'll go lay them, they'll grow up into tadpoles and into frogs. And yeah, we can just kind of ruin the mangrove swamp with probably too many frogs. I feel like I'm wrecking the ecosystem a little bit here, but it's okay because these guys are adorable. I was trying to save a frog who grew up into a block and was suffocating and I've accidentally released the tadpoles, but thankfully they've just kind of gone down there. So I think they're okay. There's a frog down here too. I'm going to go have to save that guy. <laughs> oh, this is absolute mayhem. Frog, come on. You need to get out of there. Go up there. Go up there, come on, follow the follow the slime ball. This way, buddy. This way. What on earth just happened with that frog? <laughs> Did you guys see it? It was going like super speed. That's crazy. Uh <laughs> well, that one's actually gone underneath. Can you get out, please? Come on. You you're just trying to find a way into little crevices that you shouldn't. Alright, well, I'm going to do my best to kind of block all of this up. There's a frog coming through the walls. Oh my goodness, this is mayhem. I shouldn't have done any of this. <laughs> Look at all of the frogs. Oh, it's, it's kind of glorious though, isn't it? Um, so all of these frogs are going to need a name, by the way, guys. So let me know 50 name suggestions down in the comments below. Um, just kidding. I don't have 50 name tags. Don't do that. <laughs> but we are actually going to go and name our special three frogs that hopefully are still on the inside here. Let's just do a quick head count. One, two, and three over here. I don't believe I actually have three name tags in my possession, so I have to sort that out officially in between episodes because I don't really have time to take the trip back right now and get all of that, but I thought I'd just tell you their names anyway before we slap the name tag on them. So this one right here is going to be called Pear. This one is, whoa, well, hopping over my head, is going to be called Lychee. And then this one, little guy in the corner, is going to be Clementine. So all named after some lovely fruits. <laughs> that was a suggestion from Awesome Person. I just thought they were some great names. Really cute and definitely suits all three of them. It is now time to say goodbye for today's episode. As my frog army emerges and spreads out behind me in the background, they are going to wreak havoc on this swamp, I can just tell already. But thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know any suggestions you have for the village down in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.